In the past, we used aspirin a lot for treatment of rheumatoid arthritis in very high doses. And we know that aspirin in high doses actually increases the excretion of uric acid, which is what accumulates to cause gout. It increases, aspirin increases the excretion of uric acid in the kidney. And since we don't use so much aspirin anymore, that may be part of the reason why we might be seeing more gout today than we'd have in the past. But I think it's really more closely related to the obesity epidemic and also simply to the fact that we really never looked before to see if patients with rheumatoid arthritis in fact develop gout or not. This is the first time it's actually been studied systematically. I think that it is probably true that flares of rheumatoid arthritis in some cases might have actually been flares of gout and that the gout wasn't diagnosed, it wasn't realized that that was a coexistent problem. Awareness that gout does exist in patients with rheumatoid arthritis hopefully will lead to better management of gout in those patients. So gout is a disease of metabolism and in gout we produce too much uric acid or we don't get rid of enough uric acid. And rheumatoid arthritis in contrast is an autoimmune disease. So they're distinctly different. The treatment is completely different also and in gout what we try to do is we try to reduce the amount of uric acid either by reducing the production of uric acid or by increasing the excretion of uric acid.